Mills here bringing you some fire content on the Fire 18 channel. In today's video, guys, we're going to be doing another tutorial for you all, upcoming streamers. So, I guess you could call this a 2.0 video, maybe even a part 2. But basically, guys, what we're going to be talking about is how you guys can add widgets to your OBS streams. So, basically, what these widgets do is that they give you a notice when there is, say, a new subscriber or a new donator and all that. I did say I was going to get into that in my last Streamlabs tutorial vid this one's gonna be more a little focused on the widgets though and like a lot of the customizational stuff but yeah not not to hold you guys up let's just get right into this all right guys so here we are we're back at the stream labs website that I was at in the last tutorial vid and yeah well basically what I'm gonna be showing you all is some stuff I reviewed in my last vid but also some new territory vid I'm gonna get more in depth with this sort of thing so, as you can see right here, there are a bunch of alert box and on-stream notifications you can have here. I kind of ignore this, unless you can, if you want to launch these or use these, but here is basically what we want to start out with. First, go to your general settings. You want to make sure everything of these is perfectly set up. Make sure that you also have a layout for ready for you. This is kind of like how you want to like have like the notification for, say, a new subscriber display. So, basically, you'll have the image that you picked up top and the text on the bottom for the new person so how you want to set it up for each of these like this so let's just go with subscribers because that's what i'm currently doing on youtube so you want to make sure that they're enabled first off make sure that these are enabled so that people can actually see when someone subscribed same thing with donations you want to make sure all most of these are enabled depending on what you have and you then you'll start out with your layout so you'll decide like from the general settings an image up top text on bottom image behind the text or an image to the left of the text. Those are the three things you can decide from. Then you can also have an alert animation for when, say like the alert pops up, it will pop up in this way. It will fade in or it will fade out. I might change mine a little bit, but you, you, as you can see here guys, you do have many options for how you can make it happen. You can do rotate it, you can flip it in. It's basically like some transitions. It's not, it's not really much too important, more for style points if you, you care about that. And then you also got a message template, which is basically how the text is going to pop up for when a new subscriber comes up. So depending on your channel or what you call your new subscribers or sort of thing, I kind of have new subscriber. Welcome to Dad Nation. Basically saying that they're officially new dad on the channel. It's supposed to give them a warm welcome. You can just set it up to whatever you want depending on your channel. Don't, not really going to get too much into that other than that. And then you also got the text animation. Basically, once again, more for style points. If you want to change it, you can definitely do it. You got a few options here. You can definitely change it to whatever you want, whatever you think fits. And here's the image. This is kind of one that's pretty important, so to say. You do you want one that's gonna be pretty appealing. I mean, you can you can do it to whatever you like. Look up some gifts on here. I basically got a Bill Murray thank you gift. It's basically to say I appreciate the subscription, and since I am kind of a big fan of movies i also wanted to put that in there it's it's your style guys like you said you could look up some gifts here so look up maybe like subscriber gifts or something like let me actually do this subscriber gift and then it will pop up with a bunch of other stuff here that you can maybe choose from it, like i said though it's up to you guys you don't have to like go in that sort of way just use use your imagination inspiration to kind of like get like a cool image there and then the sound right here on the bottom basically you get to change it to whatever sound you want. The default one's also pretty good. It's like, duh, 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 duh. Bruh. Anyways, yeah, we're basically, what you will basically want to do there is you can change it to whatever sound you want. Look up, you can look up some cool sound effects online. A few examples are like, awesome powers. Yeah, baby, yeah. Like, just look up like some, like, sound effects there, basically, to whatever you want. The sound volume, this is kind of like how loud you want it to be. Very self-explanatory right there. And then, there's a lot of other stuff like font settings. If you don't like your font or you want to change it to a specific color, you can change it. You have a lot of options here for your font. You can also change the text color of the font when it pops up and the highlighting. Or the font size too because you actually do want it to pop pretty well. You want people to see. You want your subscriber or your new subscriber to see that they have been that they have joined the channel. So you want to make sure the text is actually kind of big. Pretty important stuff. And then here are some alert variations. Not stuff that's too important. Not going to get too much into that. Alright guys, so now that you're done setting up your general widget settings, now what you want to do is you want to copy your widget URL 
basically what that's going to do is that it's going to incorporate every single setting that you've kind of set up for yourself from like the settings I've already explained and it will put it in a URL. And this URL for the widget is basically you're going to put it on the OBS which I'm about to show right now to get it to display capture. And what you want to do is you want to add you want to make sure you add like a window cap no, window capture here. Actually, I'm just kidding. Browser source you want to add here. Do any. Basically, what you want to do is you want to copy. You want to paste it right here. It's gonna obviously like change right here. And yeah, basically what it'll do is it'll pop up. So now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna test my subscriber. This is gonna basically show how it's gonna work on the stream or like in, even in a video if it happens. I don't know. Anyways, you want to test your subscriber here, and, and then look what it does. It pops up on there, and it says, Fire 19, welcome to Dad Nation. You won't be able to see the whole thing since it's not on full screen all the way, but basically, it's going to pop up without, without the green screen behind it, and yeah. That is basically, guys, how you do your settings. Alright, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. If you haven't yet, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to this channel, if you want more content like this. Ask me, I will make more of these type of tutorial videos. I will be explaining a brief summary of this in the description below. If you were a little bit confused by what I did in the intro, I'll be putting in uh, it, kind of like a direction in the setting. This is more of a kind of a visual of how you want to do it. But anyways, guys, I'll see you all in the next video stream, everyone. Peace!